How's it going guys? Last time we had art, we talked about Pablo Picasso. We drew a weird abstract self-portrait or just regular portrait, it didn't have to be about yourself. The week after that, we painted it or colored it however you wanted to, just make sure you colored it weird colors. Then we talked about his buddy and his rival, Henry Matisse, and how Matisse liked to draw with scissors, cutting out paper and gluing it. Uh, I hope you guys had fun doing that. Starting this week, I want to start talking to you guys about Australia. We were going to do an Australia unit. And I wanted to start this week's unit by making a fun, cute, adorable kangaroo. So, with tan paper, I don't know if you have tan paper, use whatever color you want. Uh, on the paper, I drew an outline of a kangaroo. A lot of kids think it looks like a dinosaur. Well, dinosaurs have tails and dinosaurs don't have ears and that's what my kangaroo looks like. Um, an earless dinosaur with a tail. After I cut that out, I am going to glue ears onto it. I like to glue two triangle ears. You can use a glue stick, rubber cement tape. I like to use Elmer's glue in a bottle. Uh, I'm gonna use a third triangle for his nose or her nose and then I'm going to use a half circle for the kangaroo pouch. And after you do that, you can just decorate it. You can draw an arm, you can draw baby Joey in her pouch, you can draw eyes and a mouth and whiskers, and that's it. See you next week. For today's pro tip, I got an email from a friend that wanted me to draw him a picture. So I will be drawing a picture very quickly using my favorite art supplies. The first thing I wanted to do was find a room in the house that had a really nice light source. So I'm upstairs using these desks that the boys used to use. This is a nice quiet place for me to do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use a non-photo blue pencil. What that means is this pencil will not show up in a black and white picture when it is photocopied. I'm not going to photocopy this, but this picture will be used for a t-shirt design. So that allows me some freedom with what kind of tools I can use. Uh, this isn't going to be a painting that will be hanging up in someone's house. This is just going to be an illustration that will be used to print a bunch of t-shirts. I like to think of the blue pencil as a skeleton. It gives your body form, but it's not strong enough to stand up on its own. It needs muscles. And that's what this gray pencil's for this regular old plain number two graphite pencil. This is what you use to add the details. If you make any mistakes, it's got an eraser, you can erase them. I have no problem admitting that a wild turkey is not the most exciting thing in the world for Mr. Pen to draw. The secret to every art assignment is to make it fun for you. So what I'm going to do right now is add details with this regular pencil. Now a wild turkey is just covered with different kinds of feathers. It is like mounds and mounds of feathers. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this and try and fill it up with different feather textures. I'm not adding a ton of detail, but I am adding more because this pencil is kind of like the muscles to my blue pencil skeleton. The next thing I'm going to do is add details with an ink pen, and I will do that tomorrow. One thing I like to do is when I'm adding letters, I like to make sure that they are all going to fit I hate it when all the letters get squishy on one side, so I really try to strategically place them out sporadically throughout. So if I start with camp and I put the D at the very end, that gives me a good idea of how big I need to make the other letters. Another thing when you're drawing a picture for someone is to give them options. Now this person did not ask for a cartoon silly looking turkey but I will draw an extra head down here just in case. When I give this picture to my friend, it's not gonna have the silly little turkey head down at the bottom. I will just cut it out on the computer and put it on the more realistic looking turkey body. Okay, that's it for this week. Tune in next week where I will add details with the ink pen and then show you one last little secret that I like to do. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bonus points! When this quarantine started, People trapped in their houses and apartments were recreating famous works of art and sharing them on the internet. It caught on, it kind of went viral. A lot of people were doing it. 
No, I mean a lot of people were doing it. Yes, so for this week's bonus. I swear, this is the noisiest neighborhood today. As a matter of fact, my wife and I even participated unknowingly back in Halloween 2018 when we recreated Grant Wood's American Gothic. I was Aquaman and she was a goth girl, so we called it Aquarium Gothic. Your picture doesn't need a name. Go ahead, have fun, be creative. See you next week.